हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द एस बी आई सिक्योरिटीज वीकली रैप पॉडकास्ट फर्स्ट लेट्स डिस्कस हाउ द मार्केट्स हैव बीन इन द वीक गॉन बाय इंडियन एक्विटी मार्केट्स एंडेड द वीक ऑन अ पॉजिटिव नोट विद बेंचमार्क इंडस्ट्रीज निफ्टी एंड सेंसेक्स गेनिंग टू परसेंट ऑन द वीक ऑन वीक बेसिस ब्रॉडर मार्केट्स आउट परफॉर्म द बेंच मार्क इंडस्ट्रीज मैसेवली एज द मिड एंड स्मॉल कैप इंडस्ट्रीज गेन्ड फोर पॉइंट नाइन एंड फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट रिस्पेक्टिवली इन द वीक ग्लोबल मार्केट क्यूज रिमेंड लार्जली सपोर्टिव एज ऑल द मेजर इंडस्ट्रीज ऑफ यू एस मार्केट सच एज नैसडेक एस एन पी फाइव हंड्रेड एंड डाउ टचिंग लाइफ टाइम हाइज आफ्टर स्मॉलर दैन एक्सपेक्टेड राइज इन द एप्रिल सी पी आई इन द यू एस bolstering the hopes for interest rate cuts by the fed the us cpi grew 3.4% yoy and 0.3% on a month on month basis in april on the indian economic data front the retail inflation showed an increase of 4.8% yoy in april which was in line with the estimates on the liquidity front fii's net sold 12903 crores while dii's net bought 14563 crores in the cash market during the week talking about the weekly sectoral gainers and losers so it was all about the uh, economy focused stocks so the cap goods index was up 10% the realty index was up 7.6% the power index was up 7% for the week the psu uh, index was up 5.9% metal index up 5.8% consumer durables gaining 5.4% oil and gas index up 4% while uh, the fmcg index uh, closed with a gain of just 0.3% but overall all the sectors uh, on the uh, all the sectoral uh, indices on the bsc closed in the green this week coming to the uh, top uh, performers on the nifty so mnm gained 14.7% in the week after uh, reporting strong set of results and uh, uh, excellent management commentary as also the newly launched suv 3xo received uh, stellar bookings on the opening day itself adani enterprises was up 9.4% jsw steel was up 6.3% lnt up 5.5% and adani ports was also up 5.4% in the week uh, among the losers uh, tata motors lost 9.6% in the week after report after the uh, commentary for fi 25 was uh, muted nestle was down 3.5% bajaj auto lost 2.2% dr reddy's was down 2.1% and hcl also lost 1.8% coming to the uh, economic updates in this week so india's retail inflation at 4.8% in april was at a 10 month low and in line with consensus estimates core inflation was also at 3.25% yoy however food inflation continues to stay elevated with it being up 8.7% yoy in april led by increase in prices of vegetables pulses and cereals India's wholesale inflation also rose 1.3 percent yoy in uh, April, which is at a 13 month uh, low. India's trade deficit widened to 19 billion dollars in April. Uh, uh, the exports, total exports, that is merchandise plus services, were up seven uh, percent uh, yoy. Merchandise exports were up one uh, percent, led by increase in exports of electronic goods, which were up 26 percent yoy. tea exports were up 26% and chemical exports also were up 17% uh, yoy while on the major imports side uh, gold imports were up 209% yoy pulses were up 172% and petroleum and crude products was up 20% uh, yoy coming to the major corporate developments in the week so the result season is currently on and varun beverages reported strong set of results with revenue growth of 11% ebitda growth of 24% and pad growth of 25% yoy zomato again uh, the consolidated revenue was up 73% yoy and the uh, pad stood at 175 crores versus a net loss of 188 crores uh, yoy DLF also reported strong set of uh, numbers with revenue growth of growth of 47 percent, EBITDA growth of 89 percent, and PAD growth of 61 percent. Uh, YOY. Uh, 
Mankind Pharma also reported strong set of numbers with revenue growth of 19% YOY, EBITDA growth of 42% YOY and PAD growth of uh, 62% YOY. So all these uh, four companies are reporting strong set of uh, numbers. Uh, among the pharma pack, GSK Pharma also reported a strong set of uh, numbers. So revenue was up 18%, EBITDA was up 52% and PAT was up uh, 46% YOY. Strong set of numbers from capital goods companies also, especially the MNC names such as Siemens, uh, Honeywell as well as uh, ABB. And we, have, uh, we are seeing re-rating in those uh, stocks as well. Among the major order wins uh, this week, so LNT received an order worth in the uh, range of 1000 to 2500 uh, crore from the Institute of Neurosciences, uh, Kolkata. RVNL received a 240 crore order from Southern Railway. Cochin Shipyard received an order worth uh, 500 to 1000 crores uh, from a European client. BML received 250 crore order for mining trucks from Northern Coal Fields. Vatek Vabag received a, a 409 crore order from uh, Kathmandu uh, 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 Water Supply Department and GE Power India received an order of 20 crores from uh, Torrent Power. So these were the uh, major orders received by companies uh, during this week. Uh, coming to the pick of the day and pick of the week uh, call updates. So we gave uh, uh, Jindal saw in pick of the day at a price of 550 rupees with a target of uh, 605. Uh, Jindal saw has a well diversified product portfolio uh, in um, all the major segments of the pipe industry such as L saw pipes, H saw pipes, uh, ductile iron pipes, seamless pipes and tubes as well as anti-corrosion coated pipes and no single product contributes more than 30% of total revenues. The company has a uh, healthy order book uh, which stands at $1.53 billion and this includes 30% orders from global markets. Uh, volume guidance for FY25, the management has guided for 10 to 15% growth over FY24 and expect uh, the prices also to stabilize at current levels. It uh, plans to prepay its entire debt of 1000 crores uh, that it took to acquire Satwahan Ispat in uh, 2024. The valuations are also attractive. So trading at EV by a bit of uh, 7.2 times FI 25 uh, consensus uh, estimates. And the company has been witnessing uh, positive demand sentiment across both domestic and export markets, especially in the Gulf and the Middle East and North Africa regions. So that was about Jindal Saw. Coming next up is a uh, pick of the day on uh, Bharti Airtel at the price of 1,335 and a target of 1,500 rupees. So Bharti Airtel reported its numbers also during this uh, week, which were uh, decent. And ARPU at uh, 209 rupees was the highest in the telecom uh, industry, uh, up 8.3% YOY. The capex in FY25 is expected to moderate after a high capex year in FY24 with the company having completed most of the 5G uh, rollout. The non-mobility segment is also projected to grow at a faster rate. So IoT cloud uh, and uh, the Airtel finance business which is contributing 20% uh, uh, to the total revenues. So uh, valuation, so at the current price, the stock is trading at 38 and a half times FI25 uh, Bloomberg consensus uh, earnings. So that was about Bharti Airtel. Coming next up to uh, Container Corporation. So we have recommended at 1074 rupees with a target of uh, 1181 rupees. Container Corporation is a uh, major beneficiary of the rise in uh, container uh, volumes led by the growth in the Indian economy. So its volumes were up 8% in FI24 and the management has guided for strong 18 to 20% volume growth in FI25 with the domestic volumes expected to increase by 25%. It has a 60 to 65 percent market share in the rail container uh, traffic and continues to add new multimodal logistics uh, parks. The two dedicated freight corridors, the western and the eastern dedicated uh, freight corridors are expected to improve the turnaround time for its uh, trains. 
and uh, the long pending dispute of the land licensing fee with the railways has been resolved which will improve the earnings visibility for the company so the stock is trading at a p of uh, 42 times fy25 uh, earnings estimates and uh, we believe uh, container corporation will be a major uh, beneficiary of the uh, increase in the uh, railway logistics next up is chola mandalam investment and finance we have recommended at the price of uh, 1277 with a target of uh, 1446 rupees the loan growth uh, remains robust driven by new uh, business verticals the loan book stood at 1.45 lakh crore uh, growing 37% uh, in fy24 and disbursement uh, stood at 88725 crores growing 33% via via in fy24 and uh, we expect a loan growth in the range of 25% uh, going forward the net interest margin also has improved to 7.8% in the fourth quarter versus 7.4% uh, in q3 asset quality also has improved on both g uh, gross and the net npa uh, front and the uh, valuation remains attractive at 3.6 times uh, price to book uh, on fi25 uh, basis coming next up to nmdc so we have recommended uh, in pick of the day at 277 rupees with a target of 305 rupees um, massive capex plans are underway with focus on increasing the dispatch and sales capabilities uh, the company aims to increase its production capacity from 51.8 million tons to 67 million tons by fy26 and further to 100 million tons in order to meet the growing demand for iron ore from the indian steel sector so india is uh, is the second largest producer and consumer of uh, steel and the steel demand is expected to increase which will uh, increase the uh, demand for the company's iron ore as well nmdc is the largest iron ore producer and the most preferred supplier to the indian steel industry with major clients such as jsw steel and arcelor mittal nippon steel and uh valuations also are attractive uh, with the stock trading at 10.7 times uh, fy25 uh, uh, p a uh, pick of the week uh, uh, one uh, stock recommended that is bsc at the price of uh, 2800 and a target of uh, 3231 rupees so uh, bsc uh, has uh, seen robust growth in the transaction charges uh mainly driven by the derivative contracts and it is quickly gaining market share in the derivative segment led by the launch of uh, sensex and bankex uh, contracts the regulatory fee overhang also has uh, gone away with the company increasing transaction charges by 32 to 48% for turnover above 3 crores on bankex and sensex options with effect from 13th may and this will offset the impact of the regulatory fee expenses as well as the clearing and settlement expense it plans to build co location racks and launch uh, new uh, uh, products in the coming months the star mutual fund uh, distribution uh, business also remains uh, uh, strong and uh, valuation also remains attractive at uh, a price to book of 9.9 times uh, and a pe of 33 times fy25 uh, on fy25 basis so those were about the calls given during this week coming to the market outlook for next week next week will be a truncated uh, week as indian markets uh, will remain shut on monday that is uh, 20th may with lok sabha elections taking place in uh, mumbai in uh, us a uh, few fed officials are going to deliver their speeches while the minutes of the feds may uh, fomc meeting will also be out uh, so uh, barring this the week is going to remain lackluster on the data front as no major economic data releases are scheduled in both us as well as indian markets uh the focus of uh, indian investors and traders will largely remain on the ongoing earnings season with plenty of earnings still to uh, come about uh, so we expect uh, election related volatility to continue in the indian market and uh, advise investors to exercise caution and accumulate good quality stocks during this uh, volatile phase among key results uh, next week uh, all the major psu names uh, such as bharat electronics ongc oil india irfc sail bhel ircon pi industries grassem garden rich ship builders 
पेट्रोनेट एल एनजी सेंको गोल्ड अशोक लेलैंड हिंडालको एंड एन टी सो ऑल दीज मेजर नेम्स विल बी रिपोर्टिंग देयर नंबर्स दिस कमिंग वीक For key corporate actions in next week kindly refer to our weekly wrap report the link to view the report is shared in the description box uh, below so this was all about the weekly mo- market uh, podcast thank you for listening have a great weekend thank you investment in securities market are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing